going on everybody and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody's having a blessed blessed weekend today we're going to be speaking about the note or chord of tuberose it's one that i really enjoy most males don't enjoy white florals i'm different i really enjoy white florals um tuberose is amazing to me it's multifaceted it can come off bubble gummy it can come off slightly animalic it can come off super bright and just straight white floor. So it kind of, you know, is a multifaceted note and a chord that I really enjoy, but I've seen that most males don't enjoy. So I'm gonna give you my top five tuberose fragrances in my collection. The first one up we're gonna go with is number five. It's one that I like, but it's not a love for me, but I am a fan of the house. I am a fan of the house of Frederick Mall. So I had to have this one in my collection. This one is Carnal Flower. And this one is nice. I mean, it's, I don't know if it's, and I'm a, I, I really love green fragrances, but it's something about this one. I'm not sure if it's the coconut or the melon mixing with the tuberose that I don't enjoy as much, but it's definitely bright green and it's like freshly cut tuberose. The notes of tuberose, eucalyptus, jasmine, coconut, orange blossom, ylang, white musk, melon, and bergamot. I've already sprayed some on, and it may be the coconut with the tuberose and the melon that I don't enjoy that much, but I do think I need to spend more time with this one. This is not something that I wear a lot. I do wear tuberose fragrances quite a bit. That is not my favorite, not even close, but I do think it smells really nice, and if you're into tuberose, I think you should definitely at least sample it just to see if it's something that you're gonna really enjoy. The next one up we're going to talk about is from the house of Histoire de Parfums. And this one is Tuberous 3 and a Mal. And this one is a banger. The only problem with this one is, hold on, let me move this around. The only problem with this one is the longevity. The longevity on this one is not great, but it's a complete banger. If you're talking about, if you like tuberose, masculine tuberose, you got to smell this joint. I've already sprayed some on. It gives you some of that 1740 De Marquise vibe, if I said that right. That's another fragrance from that house. It's got that dark Immortel vibe, leathery with tobacco, but this one features tuberose in it. It's got kumquat, neroli, herbs, plum, Immortel, blonde tobacco, and tuberose. A sleeper. People sleeping on this joint, man. If you're, a male, if you're a male and you want to get a tuberose fragrance that's going to fit you or just try to see if you like tuberose, you definitely got to get that one. It's dark. It's got that plum aspect, so it's got like some hints of fruit. I'm not sure about the kumquat, but the tuberose is there and it's shining, but it's surrounded by so many dark elements and notes and accords. It's just a complete banger a complete banger it's one of my favorite tuberose fragrances i don't really wear it a lot because i in the summertime i'm not sure if it would shine i would wear it in the summertime but i definitely need to start wearing it more in the, in the winter because the tobacco note surrounded by tuberose and those dark notes slightly fruity just a beautiful blend beautiful mix one of my favorite fragrances in my collection to be honest and one of my favorite tuberose fragrances. The next one up we're gonna talk about is one that I've seen a lot of people review, but I haven't seen them speak about the tuberose note in it. And I must apologize because her eyelashes fell off. And this is from the house of Sarah Baker, and this one is Jungle Jezebel. A complete, it's a masterpiece. A masterpiece, Miguel Matos did that fragrance and the reason I say it's a masterpiece is because it, when you initially spray it, you get so unkiltered and so off guard with the banana and bubble gum. Let's go over the notes real quick. Banana, bubble gum, grape, peach, sweet orange, tuberose, ylang, sandalwood, rose, amber, civet, vanilla, tonka bean, and vetiver. Those notes probably have never been done in a fragrance before, but you get so caught up in the banana and the bubble gum and the fruity vibe that you do not see the masterpiece that's laying underneath which is the tuberose and it's riding all the way through the fragrance and it shines 
And most people can't get to that because they can't get over the banana and the bubble gum. And I've watched numerous reviews on that fragrance and nobody speaks about the tuberose in it. And it's one of the best tuberose fragrances I've smelled. That note of tuberose in this is done so well. It's done really well. This one lasts on your skin for countless hours. It just smells amazing to me. It's very different. It's more like I like to smell unique, you know, different. I don't want to smell like everybody else. So that one's definitely, definitely a banger. The next one up is another one I don't hear a lot of people talk about. And this one is a definitely different too. This was this one is from the house of Frank Baclet. And this one is cocaine. And this is a crazy tuberose fragrance. Very sweet. But it has some of those masculine aspects in it that I think more males should definitely try. You know, a fragrance like this, if you want to get into tuberose, try something like this because it comes off a bit more masculine. This features notes of caramel, tobacco, red berries, bitter orange, tuberose, lily, orchids, manoi oil, vanilla, and patchouli. I don't want to spray this one on because this one, you, <laughs> you almost can't get this one off once you spray it on. But it's very sweet in the opening. Um, you definitely got that tobacco vibe in it. It's definitely got that oomph, that male type vibe that most men want to smell, you know, smell like. But it's definitely got tuberose in it. It's bright, it's floral, but it, it's dark in an aspect too. So it opens up kind of sweet, but then you've got the darkness and then you've got the floral side to it. That's a really nice one. I saw, you know, I may get a bag or bottle of that one to be honest. That's, that's definitely one of my favorite tuberose fragrances. And the next one up, which would be number five, is my favorite tuberose fragrance of all time. I was blessed enough to go hang out with uh, my brother Mel Ficini. And this one is Mel Ficini Odor 93. Shout out to my brother, he smells like Rome. Put me up on this one. That's crazy. That's tuberose, tobacco, cedar, birch tar, dark, bright tobacco i gotta spray some of this on let me spray a little bit of this on damn i ain't gonna spray that much man it's just got a very natural organic the the tobacco is just insane in this fragrance so fresh bright dark light i'm seeing all kind of colors when i spray this one on the tuberose in this one is there, but it's surrounded by so many dog notes. And after meeting uh, Giuseppe and speaking to him about this creation, I can definitely see where this one is dark and lightness and it's dark and it's lightness. It's going back and forth. It's like going in and out of a um, tunnel. You're just going in and out of tunnels, dark to light, dark to light, dark to light. It's very bright, organic, man. Yeah, that's the best tuberose fragrance I've smelled. I think I've, I've got messages from people that's bought in this. Some people like it, some people don't. I think it's a masterpiece. I think it's one of the greatest fragrances I've ever got my nose on. And that's, it is what it is, man. And I smell some really good fragrances, but number one is from the house of Mel Ficini. And it's Odor 93. Those are my top five. Tuberose fragrances. If you can, down in the comment section, leave me some of your favorite tuberose fragrances. Got more content on the way. I'm gonna see if I can get Future Journey on his off day. You know, he's a fireman now. I gotta get Future Journey back on the channel. Maybe we can do a couple reviews. People seem to really enjoy those. But I appreciate everybody that subscribed. Please like the video. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. As I always say, I'm smelling amazing. I'm out. Peace.